So I hope you've all managed to get you a glass of bubbly and that you've found a really comfortable seat and uh, that you are ready to welcome our first speaker tonight. I'll introduce him. Thomas Schubert did his PhD in Jena, Germany, on social cognition and intergroup relations. Then he wandered through Europe, stopping in Wurzburg, Amsterdam, Utrecht and Lisbon before he started as an associate professor at the University of Oslo two years ago. He is interested in the cognition and emotion, or thinking or feeling, if you will, that is involved in social relations, both between individuals and between groups. And most of his work is on the cognition side of things, which might sound profoundly cerebral, but Thomas actually has a special interest in the body and how that affects this type of cognition. Tonight, he's going to tell us about his first bigger project on emotion, a talk that he has called Karma Muta, or the moving, touching, tear-jerking, heartwarming, hair-racing, and oh, really cute feeling when communal sharing relationships suddenly intensify. <laughs> I took the whole thing in because I thought it was really good fun. Yeah, so please give him a warm welcome, Thomas Schubert. Thanks so much for organizing this, and uh, you can start. So, we think we have the great chance to do something you don't do every day. We discover a new emotion. We call it the moving, touching, tear-jerking, heartwarming, hair-raising, and all really cute feeling when communal relationships suddenly intensify. <laughs> because that was too long, we changed the name to Kamamuta. Why Kamamuta will hopefully become clear during the talk. So this is work that Beate and me um, are doing together with Janne Stickfeld, master student here at the department, and Ellen Fiske, social anthropologist at UCLA. So to give you an idea what emotion I'm talking about, let's watch a clip about a girl. She's a bit hard to understand, so I put the subtitles there. years old and I go to Randolph Elementary School. My dad, Master Sergeant Joe Myers, is in Iraq right now. So what is this emotion that she felt and that maybe that you felt that made her tear up, put her hand to her heart and motivated her to approach a close other, namely her father? In English vernacular, people call this being moved or being touched. The internet is full of videos and photos that cause this emotion and people love sharing them. Maybe you have shared them. In psychology, however, this emotion is not very much studied, almost not at all. And there's no comprehensive description, no theory about this emotion. Well, maybe it's too unimportant and too infrequent to study. To find out, we did a diary study where we asked psychology students to report each evening for two weeks whether they were moved on that day. On average, they had an episode of being moved on at least three days per week and 41% of those that were moved by something that somebody did to them. So to describe a new emotion, um, we need to define them, and they're complicated. We can understand emotions as coordinated changes in appraisals of the situation, of bodily states, of affective feelings, of motivational tendencies that are typically labeled and evoked in cultural practices. It's a long definition. Let's start with language. We checked out 20 languages marked on the map here and almost always found equivalents of the English terms. In Sanskrit, the term is kamamuta, literally meaning moved by love. This is the term we use to name our psychological concept and to distinguish it from the vernacular term being moved. It is, moved, it is evoked in cultural practices all over the world. We have found ethnographic reports, reports of practices showing that. 
And we build on these ethnographies to understand this emotion. Let's move to the appraisals, maybe the core of emotion research. Regarding appraisals, what all the situations causing Kamamuta share or seem to share is that people are coming together and form or intensify communal bonds. That can mean experiencing the intensification of your own relations or observing them in others. And data supporting this come from two online studies that we conducted in which we asked almost 400 participants to watch 20 different videos and report on their feelings, experienced uh, bodily symptoms, and the appraisals that they formed about the video. So in total, we collected data from almost 1,500 video impressions. When we analyzed this in multi-level regressions, we found that the appraisal, people got closer together during what I saw, predicted being moved significantly, strongly, and consistently across the studies. Other appraisals were also significant predictors, but today I don't have time to go into those. In a further study, we showed moving video clips and asked participants to either continuously rate their feeling of being moved or to continuously judge how close the people in the video were to each other. And then we analyzed this with um, uh, cross-sectional uh, uh, correlations and time series analysis. And here you see the time courses of being moved, straight line, and judge closeness, the dashed line, for one particular video. You see that the changes are very parallel over time. So perceived closeness and feeling moved go hand in hand. Remember that the two curves are actually coming from different participants. Regarding bodily symptoms, primary changes in Kamamuta are tears, crying, goosebumps, and chills, and a feeling of warm and expanding chest. In addition, people sometimes put the hand on the heart, and they say, oh. <laughs> and data confirming this come again from the large online video studies. Um, when we took an index of symptoms related to crying and moist eyes, that uh, consistently and significantly predicted the feeling uh, of being moved. And chills and goosebumps also predicted, but much less so. You might think that crying is all about sadness. However, in fact, our diary studies show that people uh, indicated that they cried when they were sad, they smiled when they were happy, but they both cried and smiled when they felt moved. So it's really the combination of both and it's its own emotion. We have a lot of further data indicating that Kamamuta is a positive, desired experience, and Hollywood has probably earned millions of dollars just from evoking this emotion and making people pay for it. Also, when people experience it, they want to approach close others and to intensify those communal relations. So, in sum, Kamamuta is the moving, touching, tear-jerking, heartwarming, hair-raising, and all oh, really cute feeling when communal relationships suddenly intensify. So I'm done here. If I moved you, you are now free to approach whoever is close to you. And you should really call your mother. 